I'm going to talk a little bit about product testing and validation. Now, all of you have gone through this, okay? My question to you right now is, when in the product development process should you start testing? The first time you have any requirement, you should start testing, okay? I mean, it's at the very beginning. In fact, how you pick what level and uh, fidelity of the thing you're going to test is critical. You don't have to wait until the very end to have a completed project, and you always, there are opportunities for you to even test, do basic requirements checks on sketches and stuff like that. That is oftentimes sufficient to move forward. When we do tests, a lot of times we will check off that first one. We run tests or simulations to see if requirements are being met. Everyone agree with that? What about that second bullet? Do we run tests or simulations to discover new requirements? Why not take that as an opportunity to recognize intentionally that that testing is part of the requirement solicitation? In fact, you heard a lot about UX and uh, user experiences and stuff like that. That is also about testing, but you're developing a test in order to discover those requirements. Talking a little bit about uh, how we test our products, and Joshua started off about requirements and so on. So I want to step back a little bit and say, why do we test? You test to make sure you're building a product that meets your customers' needs. Along the way, we have an internal document we call requirements, we call specifications. Does the customer care about it? The answer is, not really. Does it meet my needs? So we've taken our whole process and split it up in two parts. One part, does the design meet the requirements that we've put in? The second, does the requirement meet what the customers are looking for? Just to is the point of, well, to discover new requirements as you go along and so on. And we split them apart and we've given them two different names just to make sure we know what we're talking about. This is internal terminology. What we say, what we call verification, is making sure our design meets the requirements we have put in. Validation, on the other hand, is a separate process which says, do the requirements meet what the customer is looking for? So what are we trying to do here? What are we trying to achieve? What are our goals? Well, actually, at a top level, it's reasonably simple. We're trying to prove our product compliance in three different areas. So the first area is the data sheet for the specification that we publish to our customers. And that defines what the performance of our product will be, what the performance of our SOC will be, both in a parametric fashion so the electrical characteristics, the thermal characteristics, but also in terms of its functionality. And the second area that we need to prove product compliance to is in the quality and reliability standards. And these are standards that our customers expect our product to work under. And then finally, we have to prove product compliance to the regulatory standards that are in place all around the world where we sell our products into. So the real challenge that we have is that our locomotive has to perform um, in very extreme conditions, right? So um, it has to perform in, in tunnel conditions where it's a combination of altitude and high ambient temperature. Then you look at uh, sort of the coal service. When you look at coal service, this came out of the Pilbara um, reserves area in Wyoming. Um, so you have heavy haul on those. You have about 142 cars fully loaded with coal. Um, in Australia, I saw about 180 cars fully loaded with iron ore. Um, so you have those sorts of pulls, and that's about 20, 25,000 trailing tons. And we do this test about 30 times round trips so that we make sure that our locomotive is able to survive in those environments. We also have intermodal in the last 10, 15 years, if you have seen, it's containers that come off of a ship, get loaded on either to the rail or to a truck, and then goes into a rail terminal and then gets on, on the rail and then travels to whatever its destination is. Mm -hmm.